40 percent of jobs in the world will be displaced by technology. They're already better than us. They're in a better way of doing learning. And if we make them bigger, they'll get much smarter than us. And in the next five years, there'll be more changes happen in the history of mankind. What if you could earn half a million dollars a year in a job that didn't even exist five years ago? AI is not just replacing work, it's rewriting it. Today, we're revealing 12 artificial intelligence jobs set to explode by 2030. And some are already commanding six-figure salaries with the potential to reach $500,000 as the industry scales. But this isn't just a list, it's a warning and a map. Stay to the end, role number 12 is so new, only a few insiders even know it exists. I'm Ulysses and you're watching Future Near, the channel where the future careers and disruptive tech collide. If you're serious about future-proofing your career, hit that subscribe button. These jobs aren't just coming, they're already here. What if asking the right questions could make you rich? Prompt engineers design the queries that direct the behavior of powerful language models like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. They don't just write code, they craft conversations. The right prompts can turn an average AI into a super-powered assistant, analyst, or creator. Why does this matter? Because the interface has shifted from buttons to words, and a well-crafted prompt can save companies millions by improving outputs and reducing errors. Who is this for? If you're a copywriter, UX designer, journalist, educator, or even a therapist, you already understand how to ask the right questions. That's your edge. How to start? Tools like Prompt Base let you sell effective prompts. OpenAI Playground is where you test ideas, learn how tokenization works, study language structure and experiment. When's this coming? It's already here. Anthropic has listed prompt engineering roles at $335,000 per annum. And AI native firms are building prompt libraries like IP. By 2026, you'll see full departments dedicated to prompt stacks, just like DevOps. Imagine a world where job interviews include prompt tests, where teams compete not just on code, but how well they can instruct their artificial intelligence. This isn't just tech sales, it's translation, education, and persuasion all rolled into one. AI product evangelists are the human bridge between cutting edge tools and the people who need to understand them. They tell stories that make complex AI understandable, practical, and essential. Why does it matter? Because many great AI products die, not from lack of power, but from lack of adoption. Someone has to spark belief. Who's it for? If you've ever pitched, taught, built an audience, or hosted a podcast, you're 90% of your way there. This is ideal for marketers, community builders, tech educators, and product managers. How to start? Begin by creating demo videos or writing explainers. Get on X or LinkedIn and share what the product does and why it matters. Build a content stack that shows your ability to inspire. When is the best time to start? Right now. Stability AI, Hugging Face, and Runway ML already rely on evangelists to grow user bases. By 2025, Every major AI company will hire their own, just like developer relations roles took off in Web2. Picture this, you're flown to conferences, your face is in explainer videos, and your words are helping people feel less lost and more powerful with AI. What if the most valuable data sets in the world never actually happened? Synthetic data designers build artificial data that trains AI to recognize faces, drive cars, detect fraud, or simulate medical conditions without exposing real-world data. Why is it needed? Because real data is messy, biased, and often unavailable due to privacy laws. Synthetic data solves this. It's clean, safe, and infinitely generable. Who is this for? If you work in VFX, simulation, 3D modeling, data science, or game dev, this is your transition lane. Your world building skills are now monetizable in AI. How? Master Unity, Unreal Engine, Python, or even NVIDIA's Omniverse. Use tools like Synthesis, AI, and DataGen to build labeled, diverse, and dynamic data for computer vision, 
robotics, and NLP. When's the boom? Gartner predicts 60% of AI training data will be synthetic by 2026. Companies like Tesla are already building entire driving data sets this way. Imagine your synthetic crowd scenes training a new security system, or your generated voice samples helping develop more inclusive speech models. This is where AI meets imagination, and it pays well. What if AI could think instead of just predict? Neurosymbolic AI developers build hybrid systems, combining the brute force pattern recognition of neural networks with the logic, rules, and explainability of symbolic reasoning. It's like giving AI a brain and a conscience. Why is it important? Because current AI can write poetry but can't explain how it decides anything. In high stakes fields like medicine, law and defense, that's a huge problem. Who's this for? If you have a background in logic, philosophy, computer science or math, especially semantic reasoning or knowledge graphs, this is your domain. How to start? Explore projects like DeepMind's Gato or IBM's Neurosymbolic Concept Learner. Learn Prolog, Ontologies and Transformers. Study XAI and Symbolic AI History. It's all coming back. When's all this happening? By 2028, expect Neurosymbolic approaches to power AI systems in healthcare diagnostics, legal reasoning and government policy simulations. DARPA already invests heavily in this. In a world where AI makes decisions for billions, neurosymbolic developers will ensure it can justify why. Machines can read spreadsheets, but can they read you? Emotion AI trainers teach machines to detect human emotion through tone, expression, gesture, and even silence. This is what powers emotionally aware assistants, sales agents, and virtual therapists. Why does it matter? Because emotion drives decision-making in sales, education, therapy, and negotiation. An emotionally intelligent AI closes more deals and comforts more users. Who is this for? If you're a psychologist, actor, linguist, or speech therapist, this is a wild crossover. Emotional nuance is now a technical asset. How? Train with companies like Effectiver, Hume AI and Realize. Learn how to annotate data, label micro expressions and build emotional corpora. Fine tune models on tone shifts and facial coding systems. When's it landing? You'll see emotion AI embedded in call centers, dating apps and classroom bots by 2026. Microsoft and Zoom already experiment with sentiment analysis tools. Imagine your emotional range training a future therapist one that never sleeps, never judges, and always listens. This role isn't just about policy, it's protection. AI ethics and safety officers set the rules, audits, and oversights that prevent algorithmic disasters. They're the guardrails in a world sprinting towards automation. Why does it matter? Because biased AI already impacts hiring, policing, and medical care. Without safeguards, it scales injustice. Who's it for? If you work in compliance, law, sociology, or public policy, and care deeply about fairness and harm reduction, you're needed here. How to get started? Study tools like FairLearn, Audit AI, and Explainable AI. Understand GDPR, bias mitigation, and algorithmic transparency. Join forums like Partnership on AI or AI Now Institute. When? Exploding already. 450% growth in listings since 2021. By 2026, expect every major tech firm, government body, and healthcare provider to embed ethics officers in their AI stack. Think of it like cybersecurity, only this time you're guarding people, not servers. Who finds the minds behind the machines? AI talent strategists identify, recruit, and retain the world's rarest technical talent. AI researchers, engineers, ethicists, and even artists. They're not just recruiters, they're hunters, planners, and diplomats. Why it matters? Because there's a talent war happening. The best minds are filled in $1 million offers, and retention is as critical as innovation. Who's it for? Senior HR leaders, startup founders, ops experts, and ex-headhunters. This is your chance to step into AI 
without being technical. How to break in. Master tools like GitHub analysis, Kaggle leaderboard scouting, and AI research journals. Build talent maps, incentive systems, and remote team cultures. When? Now. OpenAI, DeepMind, and Anthropic are scaling headcount. And by 2025, this role will be central to every AI native company. You're not filling jobs, you're assembling the Avengers of AI. What if AI could read, see, and hear all at once? Multimodal AI architects build systems that blend text, images, video, audio, and code into a single coherent brain. These models don't just answer, they perceive. Why is it revolutionary? Because humans don't think in single modality. Future AI won't either. This is what powers real-time video understanding, AR assistance, and next-gen digital twins. Who's it for? ML engineers, media technologists, AR VR devs, and creatives who speak both design and code. How to enter? Learn multimodal transformers, clip, flamingo, gemini, and visual language pre-training. Use datasets like Laion, Ego 4D, and how to 100M. Master cross modal embeddings. When? Meta, Google, and OpenAI are all racing here. By 2027, it will be the foundation of every new AI product, from education to surgery. This is what it looks like when AI learns like us. AI is rewriting the rules, but who's writing the laws? AI legal strategists are the architects of legal frameworks for AI development, liability and governance. They predict where problems will emerge and how to prevent disaster. Why now? Because lawsuits are already stacking up. Deepfake abuse, algorithmic bias, copyright battles. AI is legally explosive. Who's this for? Tech savvy lawyers, policy advisors and legal researchers who want to get ahead of the curve instead of reacting to it. How to specialize? Study AI ethics, IP law, tort law, and emerging AI legislation in the EU, US, and China. Join working groups at the IEEE, UN, or Stanford's AI Law Society. When? Litigation is already here, but mass legal infrastructure will scale in 2025 to 2030. You could be the strategist who defines precedent. Imagine being the lawyer who defends or challenges the first AI that wrote a billion dollar patent. Imagine running a billion dollar business with three humans and 300 AIs. Autonomous org designers, architect businesses where LLMs, agents and bots handle operations from finance to customer support. These orgs are lean, scalable and often fully remote. Why does it matter? Because AI native companies will move 10 times faster and 10 times cheaper than traditional ones. Who's it for? Ops leads, process experts, startup builders, and people obsessed with leverage. How to build? Use tools like Zapier, Notion, Langchain, and Replit. Study organizational design, agent workflows, and delegation architecture. Build company OS frameworks. When? Already happening. By 2026, VC funds will specifically back AI native orgs with 90% automation. Your company won't hire more people, it will design better agents. What if you could clone reality to perfect it? Digital twin engineers build virtual replicas of real world systems like factories, organs, power grids, or entire cities. They test, optimize, and predict outcomes without real-world risk. Why important? Because experimentation is expensive, dangerous, or slow. Twins allow safe testing, real-time feedback, and radical optimization. Who should apply? Civil engineers, data integrators, system modelers, aerospace pros, and anyone working in complex systems. How to learn, study Siemens, Nvidia's Omniverse, and Twinmaker by AWS. Learn IoT, edge computing, 3D visualization, and simulation platforms. When? Already been deployed in Boeing, Shell, and NASA. By 2027, you'll see digital twins 
managing hospitals, factories, and entire cities. You're not just building models, you're rewriting reality's operating system. Your co-founder doesn't sleep, eat, or ask for equity. AI co-founders build businesses where the team is largely made of LLMs, agents, and automations. One person can launch products, manage marketing, build apps, and even fundraise with AI as their second brain. Why is it a game changer? Because the barriers to entrepreneurship are collapsing. Capital, coding, and capacity, all solvable with tools. Who's it for? Creators, solo founders, growth hackers, and those too impatient to wait for permission. How to do it? Stack ChatGPT, Midjourney, Make, Webflow, Eleven Labs, and Claude. Build fast, launch faster. Use agents for user research, copywriting, onboarding, and even cold outreach. When? It's already begun. By 2030, we'll see the first unicorn built entirely by one human plus AI. No team, no office, just vision plus execution on autopilot. AI isn't just a trend, it's a takeover. The future favors those who move first. Subscribe, comment the job you want and share with someone who needs to pivot. And stay tuned because in the next video, we're diving deep into a $1 trillion Mars industry no one's talking about. It's bold, it's strange, and it might just change Earth's economy forever.